Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we went back to our apartment at the uh, Woodland Heights, I believe it was called, and had a nice little heart-to-heart -heart with one of the three pigs, his name is Colin, about how people view us and how we've changed or haven't changed, depending on how you actually play the story. Uh, just as we go to sleep, some very brief time later, there's a pound on the door, a pounding on the door, rather, uh, who is Snow White, who is the uh, caretaker, the, not the caretaker, she is like the building management, and um, basically shows us that a head was left on our front steps, uh, step, the front steps of the apartment building, uh, and it's the head of the girl that we saved earlier that night. We saw that there was a blood trail leading from the outside. Uh, someone looks to have hopped the fence from the side of the building. And we found uh, the ribbon that was tied around her neck in her mouth with a ring attached to it with a weird design. And we were on our way to basically talk to uh, Dr. Swinehart, who is basically going to take a closer look at the body, or the head rather, while Snow White goes to tell the acting mayor uh, Crane, Ichabod Crane, from the um, Sleepy Hollow tales. All right, here we go. What are you blind? Why you don't see? There's a line. I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Accuse me of impropriety. Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. I'm not gonna say anything. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Crane's an asshole. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Is that the bottle of wine? Buffkin! 
hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Oh, just... peachy. Um... I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. I'm guessing Buffkin, by the way, if you're wondering what he is, I'm guessing he's a he flying monkey from There's Wizard of Oz. There's information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi, yes, I'm just calling to let you know that um, Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. It's a lot bigger than than you would think it would be. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. No, we got your invoice. Yes. Worth a try. Yes, Always worth a try. Let's ask it a question. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history of rules. You have to, you have to ask it a rhyme. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Oh. Uh, I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. All right, the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Alright. Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Show, Show me, me snow. snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. All right, that's nobody it. right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Alright, I think that's all there is to look at anyway. It's Snow White's little desk. Is there what is that? Tarot deck. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. Let's 
strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Let's see the next one. We got a tarot card. So we actually... Um, oh. So it seems... I don't know much about tarot decks. Um, or like what each thing is supposed to signify. But if you're looking at the pictures on the card, we saw a wolf. Uh, which is, I guess, supposed to be us. Uh, the tower, which showed the death of a woman at like the bottom. Which is obviously the head that we found. And the Ten of Swords, which showed someone who looked like us with a lot of stab wounds in the back. So, not sure what that's... Well, I know what it's supposed to signify, but we'll, we'll see. Alright, Book of Fables. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. So let's go in order here. Huh. Me. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Look at these fucking dwarves, man. They look evil as shit. Which one's supposed to be happy? Because none of them look happy. Or dopey, or sleepy, or sneezy. Yeah. Wars. Less said about that, the better. All right. Here's the huntsman My or woodsman. Buddy. The woodsman. Woodsman. Yep. And his axe. It's a little red. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Beauty in happier days. And her man, beast. Funny. Oh wow, I just realized that. If you look around like the top, like it looks like the image is kind of folding in. Like it, you're actually looking at a book. Like if you, I'm pointing at the screen again. Look at like the, the castle. See how it kind of folds in the middle? That's really cool. Never realized that before. Colin and his brothers. The three little pigs. Oh, that's a symbol that we saw. On the on the ring. We'll get to that last. Let's look at everyone else here first. Nice hat. It's Mr. Toad, Mr. Badger. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Ichabod Crane. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss, his finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. All right, now let's see. I think it's everyone. Let's see who this is. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Ah, oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> Now 
There it is. Something else to see, I think. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Ooh, damn. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Can't rule him out. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. I don't think there's anything more to see. So I think we can just head out. Or maybe there's more to do. Apparently. Oh, right. Oh, you could talk to him about the the tarot card. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Alright. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Let's try faith. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. These lips are sealed. She said that to us too. When we asked where she works? Show me Faith's father, the old king. <laughs> well, I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. All right, Prince He's Lawrence. Prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. All right, let's go. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry. I have to get that. Don't have an answering machine? Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby! 
It's me, Poe. You there? Uh, yeah. What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Alright. Um... Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Okay, so looking at this objectively, um, it's important that obviously we go to Prince Lawrence's uh, apartment uh, where Faith lives. Um, but whatever's going on with Toad is happening now. So, I know what happened. Again, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from the meta. I know what happens in either case. But looking at it from fresh eyes, what I would do is I would go to Toad's place right away. Because whatever happened at Faith's is... You know, it, it, it'll hopefully be fine by the time we get there. But whatever's going on at Toad's is going on now. But... Actually, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Um, we'll have to see what happens with Toad next time. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.